Okay, now let's look at question number two. Uh, we would like to determine the vertical and horizontal components of reaction at pin A and the angular acceleration of uh, the 12 kg rod at the instant shoot. Okay, when the rod has an angular velocity of omega equals to 5 rad per second. Now the angular velocity is given like previously uh, in the previous question it says the initial uh, initial uh, motion so when 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 there is an initial word it means that omega equals to zero now the omega has a value so let's uh, start with the free body diagram there will be a weight at the center of gravity of the uh, rod okay at the pin A, there will be two reaction forces in both uh, tangential and normal axis. And again, we use tangential axis pointing down, normal axis pointing to the left for this question. And that's all. That's all that we have uh, on the free body diagram. Now we move on to the kinetic diagram. Uh, there will be motion down MAGT in tangential coordinate. Okay, there will be motion in normal coordinate. Remember, tangential is tangent to the path. So, if you imagine point G will have this circular path, uh, point A as the center of rotation over here, and uh, normal coordinate is pointing, pointing to the to the center of rotation. Okay. This will be tangential and also there will be a rotation which is IG alpha. Okay, so we will start with, uh, we will start with the first equation that is, um, that is uh, normal uh, forces. So sum of Fn equals to m omega square R. Okay, in normal axis, we have An positive equal to M 12 omega is 5 square times R. R is the distance from G. This is G to the center of rotation. So this will be R. This will be R, which is 0 0.3. So we have An equals to 90 Newton. Now we move on to the second equation, sum of Ft equals to m alpha r. Okay, we have minus 80 times, uh, uh, sorry, minus 80 plus mg equal to 12 alpha times r. So we have this equation 80 plus 3.6 alpha equals to 117.72. So we need the third equation to solve this uh, this problem. Now let's try to calculate a uh, moment about A. In the previous question, we have calculated moment about center of gravity. Now I would like to demonstrate how we can uh, solve the problem by calculating moment about the center of rotation A. So we have learned in the previous lesson that MA uh, is equal to kinetic moment. This is uh, the kinetic moment about A, okay, and which is equal to uh, IA alpha, all right, uh, because this is a pure rotation problem. So when we calculated the moment about center of rotation, it becomes IA alpha, okay. So now let's refer to the table here and find out what is the formula to calculate IA. So in this case, the rotation occurs at this point, right? At the end of the, of the rod. So this is, uh, this is basically this one. Ixx, uh, sorry, Ix prime x prime uh, or I y prime y prime. And the formula is 1 over 3 ml square. So we will have 
IA is equal to 1.44 kg meter square. So now we have uh, uh, on the right hand side AT the no moment about A, AN no moment about A, we only have MG. Okay, MG is going clockwise, so positive, and the distance is 0 0.3. So from here, straight away we will get alpha is 24.53 red per second. Then we substitute in this equation to get the value of AT equals to 29.43 newton.